Hello and welcome back. It is another lady of the house kind of day. So I thought that I would take you along. It's going to be a little bit different just because I didn't have like the whole morning to share and all that. But um, this is going to work our way into like an afternoon style vlog where I'm not showing like the morning routine and all of that. So um, this morning I had to be completely focused on what I was doing. We had window, Anderson windows come out and they installed new windows, not every single window, but um, quite a few. I think it, I think it was five. I think it was five windows. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, they did five windows. And I've just been going from room to room just trying to get like those window sills clean. And had I been prepared, that would have already been done. But I mean, it's been, it's been crazy every day. So it's okay though. Everything got done. They were amazing. They actually, um, left as if they hadn't even been here so they did all their cleanup and it was great so the gentleman who sold my mom the windows and um you know just the salesman he came after they had already gone and so he just wanted to check everything out make sure that everything was you know great and it was so um that was nice i have kind of a busy day today let me share with you what the plan is so far, this is all that I have on my list. Of course, I have some more things that I need to focus on, but um, I want to organize and clean the family room. I would like to focus on that later this evening, um, but because right now I need to go head to my seamstress's house. She has two dresses for me and then several aprons, which I'm also going to need to alert those that have sent me messages through Etsy that I'm going to have some available. And then I need to pick up my daughter from school because she has an appointment with the eye doctor to um, put on her contacts. They have her contacts in today. So um, she gets to do that and they are hard contacts. So I'm a little nervous for her. Hopefully they will be comfortable enough. Um, and then I have a friend of the family coming over. Julie's going to be coming over. She left a few things here the other day, so she's, she said that she would pick them up later. So I have those items ready for her, but that's about, she said between 3.30 and 4 would be when she would come. And then later on is when I really want to focus on organizing the family room more and cleaning it thoroughly. So, um... That's why I really didn't put much out um, on my planner, but I was very, very busy this morning. So sometimes we just have those days where we like can't pull in, pull out the camera, can't do anything like that because we are just focused. I was focused today. I really did a lot of cleaning in my son's room. Sometimes, you know, as mothers, we just need to go and check on certain spaces and make sure that, you know, they are, they are to some kind of standard. So that's what I did today and whew, there was a lot of laundry. A lot of laundry even though he does his own laundry. So we're gonna do a reset today and that's what I'm focusing on. I've really been um, going through, you know, doing all the loads of laundry and then I'm going to be folding them and we'll you know figure out a better system today but I did a lot of cleaning in there um, there is some more deep cleaning that can be done but I did the majority of it so that felt really good and when I have workers here like I can't just be sitting around doing nothing but I also couldn't do the things that I would normally be able to do because there's somebody else in the house you know so like I couldn't sit here and film and just Things are different. Every day things are different. So I thought that, you know, I'll take you with me today. And uh, first things first, I need to go get money to pay the seamstress and then I can be on my way. So this is my dress today. This is by Lauren Conrad. I have this dress in uh, two other colors and I actually have, I think I have one more on the way, although it's a size smaller than this. So I'm gonna have to see if that, if that fits well, but I'll just have to see. Let me share with you what other colors I have this in. These two as well. 
so you all probably remember this one but this is a newer one this is actually an older um, style I think it was out at the same time this was and the postman just came um, but this is this season so if you like a very pale green with bright florals then you would love this dress um, but I just love the wrap style of it I feel that it's such an easy dress to wear for every day and um, I would highly recommend it um, but I'll talk about this dress a little bit more but I just wanted to share with you that when I first um, tried to figure out the the color that I would like the most this one initially was not a dress that I cared for but now I really love it speaking of this just came so here it is and I didn't realize that it was brand new and that's one of the best things about shopping on Poshmark is a lot of people sell brand new items and um, it's always it's always nice when you know whatever you're getting is brand new doesn't have any wear on it um, but these dresses really wear nicely and they don't show any kind of wear in my opinion but um, I'll need to try this on later I'm not going to try it on right now but I have a new dress that I just had made so I'm going to just do a whole dress spring dress try on for you today later on once i get home so i did have to try this on <laughs> before i left just because i had to okay so um i am going to have to get this button moved down a bit and that will make it to where i can fit in this extra small because i can't wear extra small um not right now anyway so um the great thing is with wrap dresses though is that they they are very forgiving in your size. Uh, the only thing is just the amount of fabric that you would have in the chest area and where it's cut. So I would definitely need to wear a, like a, um, a slip underneath and have some extra coverage there. But if I have her, if I have my seamstress move this down, maybe two inches, maybe even an inch, but I'm thinking too and one of the great things about this is that it actually has two different sizes that you can go with here see they already have that worked into it which is nice and my dress that I have right here does not have that option and I'm also seeing that it has two different options as far as um, you know where you can have the hook but um, these don't seem to work as well as what I had on here. So I don't know what that's about. Um, but I'm going to take this and just ask her if she would move this down maybe an inch and a half. And then it will fit a lot more comfortably. And then it also won't pull the way that this is pulling. And I'll talk more about that later too. I just picked up the aprons. And she was saying that she doesn't know how much longer she's going to be able to continue making them so either i need to start looking for another seamstress or uh, we also discussed me cutting out the fabric and and that is a possibility as well because um that's the part that you know is really tiring for her and and she just has a lot of health issues so um we, anyway, we discussed that, which if it gets to that, I would be more than happy to cut them out. Um, and then I was able to take one dress home, the yellow one that I have her making. She needs to take in just a little bit more on the waist. I want it to have a little bit better of a shape because I just don't like how loose the waist feels. And then um, she also fixed this one with the button she moved it over from this portion right here it's two and a half inches this portion to right here so um, once I get home I'll try that on and see how it uh, fits and that's how we make an extra small into a small <laughs> two and a half inches right there um, and then she also fixed a slip for me so feels good to have that done now I am going and I left my ring at home now I'm going to go pick up my daughter from school and um, maybe take her to go get a little lunch and then take her to her eye appointment. This dress has two different 
um, areas that you can use as a loop for the hook. I don't really care for the way that it pulls on it, so it looks kind of weird. Even in the size that is my size, it still looks really, really odd. I have one dress where the way that it is sewn on there is perfect and it looks great but then they did something different after that and i'm finding that with the dresses that have those two um, little slits for you to use the button in different lengths um, they're they're really weird the way that they did the hook and eye thing so it just it doesn't hold it as well so it kind of puckers weird anyway this is the way the dress fits now. I think that it looks a lot better. Um, it's not pulling so much like it was before, and I think that it fits nicely. Um, it is a little bit more snug in different areas because it is an extra small, so you know it's just not cut in the same way that the smalls were for me. But since she moved that button over, it fits a lot better and I like it. I would not necessarily wear it with this slip right here because um, I just, like it matches the flowers that are in it, but I would just probably choose something different. So we'll have to see. Um, but I do love the way that this dress looks. It's one of my go-to day-to-day dresses that I would be happy wearing doing um, you know, housework in. It's a great house dress. It's a great dress to just dress up with heels. You can wear it every day, anywhere, practically. So um, I'm happy to add this to my wardrobe. And I wanted to share with you just how I have my wardrobe set up now because I've taken out some really dark things. Okay, back and dressed. Now, let me take you back into my wardrobe. I really wanted things light and airy for spring. Last week I focused on kind of cleaning up my wardrobe and only having pieces in here that were suited to how, like that I would just feel best in at this time and in this season. So um, especially going into the springtime, I really wanted to lighten things up. I took out all the dark colors or just the really re rich colors. Aside from this one, I just love this one. It always makes me so happy to wear. So um, I did bring this one back out, but um, yes, I just wanted things that would be easy to wear. Now, something that I did, which I would highly encourage you to do, especially if you have a lot of linen or a lot of cotton dresses, is to make sure that you have enough room, number one, within, you know, between your pieces, and make sure that you iron all of them or steam them before you put them in your wardrobe. I believe that this will encourage you to wear them more often and you will get the best use out of your wardrobe this way. I'm not saying that they're not going to need to be touched up, but it will be more likely for you to grab those items and wear what you have in your wardrobe if you make sure that they're nice and pressed and steamed before you put them in. So when I was done washing my clothes, I spent some time just ironing the items that I had so that, you know, they would be nice and ready for me so that it wouldn't be one more step holding me back from wearing that item. I know that a lot of people do go with, um, like, polyester and and just the synthetic blends because um, they're easier to wear but for those of you who do like to have the more natural fabrics just make sure that you steam and iron them so that you're more likely to grab them and you're more likely to wear them um, you know when you're kind of running behind maybe in the day or you just want one less thing to do you're more likely to wear those items. I actually still have a couple of things in here that I do need to iron because I decided after I had already had everything out that I wanted to add them as well, like this yellow one and this blue one, which are actually the same dress by Gal Meets Glam. I need to iron those and then I will be more likely to wear them too. But that's just a little tip for you. Make sure you have a plenty of space between your dresses so that they're not smushing each other and just 
for the season, do a capsule of color. Capsule of color wardrobe. That's what I've done here because it just makes me happy and makes me feel so much better. This dress is made from a pattern that I found. I think it's McCall's. Um, now I can't remember, but I think it is McCall's. So yes, this is one of the dresses I had her make me. It doesn't have pockets um, and that's okay, but it is a wrap design and I just really like the way that it looks. This is the length that it goes up to. I think that it's it just turned out so great and it's like the fabric is perfect for a holiday dress. So I have it in this three quarter sleeve, which I think I will try on for you as well. I just wanted to try out both designs just to see and then I thought maybe I will sell one. Isn't this a great party dress? I just love it. And it's that wrap design. It comes all the way over here. Look at look at all that fabric. So I I think that that's wonderful. I think that the silhouette looks really nice. And it's a nice cap sleeve there. Not uncomfortable to move in or anything. Um, I feel like the waist is situated nicely where it goes in at the uh, smallest part of the waist. I am more short-waisted, so um, whatever it says on the, on the pattern, we kind of have to tweak it a little bit for me just because, um, you know, how short my torso is. And this one is made from a vintage pattern. So it looks a little bit different than I thought it would just because I didn't realize all the different areas that it was cut to bring it together. But I still think that it looks really pretty. Let me know your thoughts. Which design do you think looks best on me? It's still fit and flare. This one, of course, is a three quarter sleeve and it's more of a boat neck design, has more of that open neck right here. Um, but overall, it's really beautiful. I love it. And I would just love to know your thoughts on it. These two dresses were ones that I had her make. She has that one yellow one that she's working on right now because I'm having her take it in a little bit more. So I don't have that one ready just yet. But let me know what your thoughts are. And of course, if you are interested in purchasing one of these designs, let me know that. And depending on which one is most popular, maybe I will post that one for sale. Now, something else that I'm excited about are these aprons right here. I have, um, you know, several, I have six of these because she has three more that she's about done with. So I'm going to post six of these and then I have uh, five of these ones. So um, I want to just go ahead and put those in my shop, but first I need to alert all of those who told me that they wanted one and to be on the waiting list. So I'm going to do that today and let them know that I plan on posting them tomorrow and then that way um, we can get, you know, back in business when it comes to a And these dresses I'm just going to quickly put away because of course it's it's ruining my whole vibe in my in my wardrobe. I don't want to have those out. And plus they're more like holiday, I feel. The fabric is much more for Christmas. It's much later now, so I am going to be wrapping up this video, but I have some administrative work that I need to do at my desk, and I am going to complete those things. That way tomorrow morning, everything will run really smoothly. I have a brunch that I'm going to be going to with my friend Jessica, and it will just be nice to not have these little things left to do that I would normally have left to do on a Friday. Now, did I get to the one thing that I had on my list today? Um, well, I mean, it was in my top goals, which was to organize the family room and clean it. Well, I did clean some of the area, especially um, earlier this morning, which I did not share because as I said, I didn't, 
I didn't have my video camera out at that time. And that's about it. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you were able to gain something from it. Thank you so much for being here with me today and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.